Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bubloon aka Pamploon and today we are taking a look at what copy paste ship number 59 in two months. I, I have no I have no answers to this. Um I don't know why Wargaming keep pushing these bland copy paste ships. I initially when I made this video, I was reacting to it because I was sure that it hadn't changed anything. Well they have. There is a difference to this rune and the normal rune, but is it better? I really don't know. I haven't tried it yet, guys, so we're going to do first impressions. So right off the bat, we're going to go into the skills. Rune, the normal one, has Sonar 2 and Precise Aiming 2. But this one, I don't know why this is... A, I don't see this as a change. It's a good change. Gets Defensive Fire 1 and the other skills get downgraded to their, you know, Tier 1 version. So here you have a worse rune in the ship. The only difference, guys, the only real difference is the torpedoes. They have a 9 kilometer range. They go 50 knots. Guys, they go 50 knots. These are pretty much Elbing torpedoes. A little bit faster, I'm sure. And they have a 12% chance of flooding. These are shitty torpedoes. So, yeah, in my initial video of this, I was just fuming. Because when you took a look, take a look at this, guys, let's take a look at the comparison between this rune and the normal one. I have taken out all equipment and commanders, only camo and, yeah, the elite bonus. So let's take a look at the normal rune and this one. There is absolutely no difference. It's This is a nerf compared to this, if you ask me. You have three of each. You don't need to spec into fire supremacy. You don't need to spec into the extra sonar skill. You have three. Here you might have to do that if you want the extra utility. And then you get a boost to your crappy, crappy AA. Let's take a look at the stats here. A 354 HP difference in favor of the black rune. A 0.20 degree max traverse speed in favor of the Black Room. Guns are completely the same. Torpedoes are polar opposites, but to be honest, I I'm, I'm going to be completely honest here. I, I don't see this as a buff, because torpedoes that go 50 knots, they're even 12.5 knots slower than the normal runes torpedoes. So if you thought normal runes torpedoes were kind of slow, or in general German cruiser torpedoes, well, they're going to make them even slower. I'm excited to try this. I mean, I might get blown away here, but the reason I'm so pissed off about this is because they had a chance to make the rune epic. They had a chance to give this a redemption arc, and they didn't. Instead, what they did is make a blatant money grab, so people in this community will get even, even more distant from wargaming and despise them even more. I know there's some rune lovers out there. If you know, you know who you are when I'm talking about this. You know who you are. They'll of course like this, but I think every rune lover out there and everybody who's played the rune or a shitty tier 9 will agree with me that if they make a black version of it, they better darn well change the fundamental playstyle of it. And they did here, but they didn't make it attractive. It's not deep water torpedoes, it's not fast torpedoes, it's not good torpedoes at all actually. They do very little damage, very low chance of flooding, very slow. In my, in my mind, they should have given this rapid reload 2, speed boost 3, and, and maybe the torpedoes. And just make the torpedoes the same as they are. Honestly, I would buy that. I would get that. That would make it a hella funny ship. Kiting ship, torpedoes, rapid reload. And then change some of the statistics so it's not as strong as the normal room, right? But my point being, they don't change the ship so it's attractive. I would never buy this crap. Never. Reason being, it nerfs the original rune and makes it a torpedo boat, which is it's clearly not. Now, I know I'm, I realize I'm speaking without having played it at all. But I want you guys to know that I'm not, you know, pushing these ships, even if I disagree them, agree with them. I'm going to tell you guys my opinion. I'm going to say what I think about this. And I'm going to say right now that I did write a message to Wargaming saying this is not okay, Wargaming. You, you've released so many copy-paste ships. It's about time you innovate. It was a very strongly worded bit message. I, not, I didn't want to be mean, but I want them to understand that... The frustration we feel as a community is really starting to build up. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm gonna shut up now. I, I'm sorry for making this such a, you know, negative video right off the bat, but I just have to be completely honest with you guys. Um, this, this is not okay, if you ask me. It really isn't. Now, I'm gonna give this thing the best chance possible. We're gonna get Fl Franz von Hipper. Um, you know, let, let, let's see how good is this, right? 
how good can we make it? Um, we're not gonna spec into the extra sonar because I don't really care about the extra DFA, right? So we're gonna take this because we actually do have two of these that we we will use: main battery and torpedoes. We're of course gonna take the sixth sense. I'm not gonna buff my freaking AA because runes AA is is bad. It, it doesn't help. I will not be taking the fire supremacy skill. I will take marksman instead, though. We will obviously take recon and surveillance, adrenaline rush. See, it would have been, it would have been nice to have a um, maybe some secondaries also. You could get you could have given it secondaries or a speed boost, but no, none of that. We're just we're basically ruined but with longer torpedoes. What an amazing ship, guys! Here we go. We've we've, we've equipped it with Franz von Hipper. We're gonna maximize this bad boy because I mean. It's room. <laughs> I have to maximize this. All right. Well, my first game is with a bunch of bots, so you probably won't see the full game. I'll just skip to the juicy parts. But yeah, if there's some interesting commentary while I play this, you might just see the whole thing, guys. So yeah, let me know what you think about this. I I mean, obviously, this is kind of like the Leipzig. If you guys remember the Leipzig when it came out, it is a Nuremberg that has longer range torpedoes and it's super it's insanely good but the reason it's good is because it also has rapid reload and rune sorry nuremberg does not have rapid reload it has precise aiming so it fundamentally changes the playstyle. you could have done the same with rune that you did with leipzig and this thing would have become it would have gone from being one of the most well-known bad tier nines out there to become one of the better not the, maybe not better but one of the you know maybe b maybe low a tier it, it would just make sense to me, but anyways. It's a very big ship, and... Yeah. You only have one torpedo tube. Obviously, it's Rune. Oh my god. Okay, th this thing just... This is really just solidified itself. Um, I completely forgot Rune only has one torpedo tube. That is not worth it, Wargaming. It has one torpedo tube, people. Let's see what they do of damage. 2,600? Bro, <laughs> that's nothing. My God. Well, I don't know what to say, guys. I really, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm stunned. I'm stunned that this is something we're releasing. You remember the Black Harlem when that thing came out? It, pretty much the same deal. The Black Harlem was just a, a, it was a little bit better than the normal Harlem, but that's about it. Same deal here. It, it, it really depends on how you look at it, right? Because I, I don't see it as better as the normal rune. You have precise aiming two on the normal rune. You have sonar two. Which is what, like, it's like the quintessential high tier German cruiser experience is having precise aim and good sonar. That's your bread and butter, pretty much. Oh man, I can't wait to see the comment sections on this. Every time I've been uploading one of these new ships that's just been copy pasted, you know, renowned Luchuan, Meng Chong, even Lushun. But I will say this Lushun is a well executed copy paste ship. Because if you look at the Nustra Shimi, which is the one it's based off, the hull at least, and the guns, they've changed the ship. They gave it some awesome skills, and now it's a DD player is like one of their favorite ships. Oh wow, the Nakimov is out here. Oh wow, he's actually out there, and there's also going to be a DD one somewhere. We're going to wait with the DFA for um, our, you know... For his torpedo bombers. Oh wait, there he is. Party guns. You're sailing towards me. You realize that, right? Yeah, he's not gonna go this way. Oh, he might actually. He might. Nah. Well, AA is sublime on this, as you can see. It's sublime. We've taken out ten planes from Anakimov. I, I think that's a record for Rune. Oh my god, and then he takes the kill, bro, come on! I guess fair enough, he saved me. That knock him off is really bad. <laughs> that was really bad, he didn't hit a lot of torpedoes there. Bro, you gotta rethink your strategy. The main of the past smart people, see you later, son. He just got ruined. Well, interesting first game. Um, It's ruined with Franz von Hipper, of course you're gonna do good, but it's mostly a bot game, so we're gonna, we're gonna do another one. Okay, finally got a real game with a less lesser number of bots and we're gonna see what we can do with the black room now yeah this uh this boat is it's it's fun and all right it's 
it's whatever but i'm, I'm just i feel like i'm playing the, the normal room that's all i can say let's say if if rune had two torpedo launchers per side so four in total this would be a little bit more viable but since you only have one per side you're very limited in in how much you can actually use those torpedoes and with also a decently long reload for what they are they're just not if that's the main selling point of this ship, then it needs to be increased. I don't know how. You can't really give this thing an extra torpedo tube, so I think my original idea with giving this rapid reload and just one set of long-range torpedoes like now and then speed boost, I think you'll have a really fun ship. But what do I know? I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just play I just play the game. See, that's the weird thing about game development is most of the time these play these developers don't actually play the game and you can't blame them, right? It, you don't want to bring work home. I, I wouldn't want to if I was working in a retail store, I wouldn't want to, I don't know, bring bring stuff home to organize it. My point being that most time game developers don't really know, you know, the ins and outs of the game. And that's why it sometimes feel like they're completely out of touch with reality. Because most of the time they don't know. So it seems to me like there's some people at Wargaming that decided we need the Black Room. They probably don't even know it's the, one of the least liked ships in the game. So now they put it in here and uh, they give it worse skills and increase the torpedo range. And that's a new ship right there. I mean, I, I no wonder Wargaming likes these copy paste ships. If, if people actually buy them, which they do, they make money on them. And it's probably the lowest effort ships in the world. Just gonna push you know i uh I, f I feel like i'm pushing i'm a pushing maniac this game i want to get these torpedoes in use you know, we don't need to get that close and i don't know where the rest of the enemy team is you guys see this but oh, there they are okay all right we're gonna go for mr paul here we're gonna take a risk and turn out fully while he's uh doing his thing Looks very my, much like a, a Jinan who is um, in the middle of a torpedo run. So it's good we got our sonar coming up. Oh, that's a nice little hit. Lucky for him we got it over pens, but um, it's cool. Oh, Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul, what are you doing, bro? You're supposed to get the torpedoes off, man. Come on. Good thing Rune is decent. Okay, I say decently accurate, and then that happens. Wargaming, come on, <laughs> you got you gotta give me more than this. You can't, I can't be working with this shit. Now he's dead. Hopefully. Oh my god, the overpen, the overpen, bro. This lucky fucker. He's dead now. Good. All right, we're gonna reverse in again, just like we did before. Reverse in, get the citadels. You know, Rune looks good when I'm playing it like this, but you gotta re remember, guys, I have a legendary captain with APCS. Um, I, I've i played Rune or Hindenburg a lot. It was my first ever tech line I grinded down. So you're seeing somebody who's played this ship v for a long time, or these types of ships, this playstyle. And I can tell you right now, from my experience, that nothing has changed from the normal Rune to this. It is the exact same experience. I mean, I, how, how much have I used these torpedoes? I've gotten one torpedo hit this game, and that was on that Fletcher that died. <laughs> That's about it, guys. That's my torpedo usage in these games. I'm gonna hit this uh, Goliath for as long as I can. Maybe actually not. Let's let him heal up, because he's got good heals. Let him get some HP, you know. Free damage. Guys, don't kill him. Don't kill him, guys. Don't kill him. Let him, let him live. Oh wow, I might even hit torpedoes on a Minnesota. Or maybe not. Look how slow they are, bro. <laughs> Come on. Give me give me like 70 knots at least. You can't be giving me 50. You've degraded the torpedoes <laughs> compared to the normal one. What a selling point. Am I right? What a fucking sell selling point. Lol. No way. <laughs> Boys, we did it. We got a torpedo kill again. And that must mean that the black rune is OP. Like, obviously, giving it torpedoes is just what it needed. Or, sorry, giving it long-range torpedoes is just what this thing needed. Obviously. Yo, I'm gonna farm the Taiho instead. Like, Goliath, you can run as much as you want. I'll farm the Taiho. 
more damage then. But we are also winning, so it's about it's about time. It's about goddamn time, man. Come on, can I get 100k this time? I, I must be able to. Give me the citadels, bro. Give me the citadels. That's what I want. So close, though. So close. We won't get it. Nope. Go! Come on, come on, come on! Yeah, baby! 99k, let's go! Alright, so, yeah. I'm not gonna play any more Black Rune. Um, don't buy this, guys. Except if you're a rune lover. Of course, I can't say what you should and shouldn't do, but I don't think this is uh, helping the game at all. It's just inflating it with more and more of the same ships and making you guys pay big buck for it. So, um, if it was me, I would steer away from this. If you want an experience like this, but just more fun, go play Leipzig, Leipzig if you have it. Or if you want this exact experience, actually, go play the normal rune. Because that's what this is. Except you have worse skills, and you get... Uh, what four four or five kilometers more on your torpedo range but you don't get an extra tube so you can't really rely on your torpedoes to play this that is my review of this ship it's an absolutely not recommended for me um yeah not because it's a it's a scam but because it's a scam because it's just a normal room i really don't know how to put this and define this ship other than copy plus paste I hope you guys enjoyed the video, even though it was very negative. Um, thank you for watching still. My name has been Bob Loon, aka Pabloon, and I am signing out.